African Slam Journal creates a platform for giving the slums a voice and a face by reporting on issues, articulating social, cultural, and economic situations that affect the people, either positively or negatively, in order to promote social change. Mukuru is a Swahili word that means a valley. It was unfit for permanent construction and converted it to a dump site for industrial waste. Due to poverty, people joined it for scavenging and grew up to a slum now with over 100,000 residents. For African Slum Journal, I'm your host Milan Kamau, reporting from Mukuru. Kibera is the biggest slum in Kenya, second largest slum in Africa, and one of the biggest slums in the world. Join Musa Chari in African Slam Jana so take it through street soccer in Madare Slam. Dandora is a popular slum in Nairobi, Kenya. It's well known for its dumping site, Boma, where 2,000 tons of garbages are dumped each and every day, causing health problems among residents living in this area. Join me, Eris Hajira, in African Slam Journal as I take you through the dark side of Nairobi City in Dandora Slam. Welcome to African Slam Journal in Soweto Slam. Lying on the edge of Isile Airbase, residents of Kiambio Slums still live in fear that any time bulldozers may come and sweep away their houses, leaving them homeless. For African Slam Journal, I'm your presenter, Benjamin Sidon. Located about 7 kilometers from the city centre, Kariobangi Light Industry is one of the fastest growing industries in the slum. Join me Usla Akeni in African Slum Journal as I take you through what you can find in this industry. Generating billions of shillings for the government in revenue and creating millions of jobs for the people, Gikomba Market is the largest open-air market in East and Central Africa. Reporting for African Slum Journal in Majengo Slums, I'm Isambatia. These stories are reported by young journalists from the slums. For more of these captivating real-life stories, please visit us on www.africanslumjournal.com. <laughs>